Nick Cannon carries guilt about having multiple kids with multiple women. I'll tell you how I can relate. This is an Iwebu production. Period. Recently, Nick Cannon sat down with Dr. Laura Berman and spoke about how he's balancing the life of having multiple kids with multiple women. He seems to make it like it's a pretty great lifestyle. And then eventually he displays some guilt. Check this out. And again, because I'm blessed enough to be in those positions to where I, I can rent out this. Yeah. Can rent out. <laughs> you, could, you, you go over there to the Matterhorn. You go to Space Matterhorn. Out, you guys have to yeah. see each other. And, so, and they all play together. Yeah. So I mean, I, I, it's definitely an unorthodox, non-traditional setup, but it's working. Yeah. So what you say is to define you to is to confine. To define you, you to to, yeah. to label me is to disable me. I, I got. I, I can't. Don't don't put labels on me. So, yeah. But it's it's again. I'm I'm enjoying life. I'm happy. I'm he again because one thing that i that keeps me up at night there's this heavy heavy guilt with the fact of and get to spend time like i really wanted to with zen I, that i have other children yes. even in a similar age that i was like okay i'm guilty that i'm not there and every day i'm guilty yes. that the mothers of my children yearn for more and i can only give so much i walk around with a backpack full of guilt Aww, that bo -bo. but at least i know the harder that i work then it makes the guilt easier to deal with. Why? Because it's like I'm working on, I don't feel, if I feel like I'm providing for others. Oh, so, okay, so you're providing. Where I feel the guilty is, is if I am not working and yeah. I'm spending time with a young lady and I'm like, man, I got a house full of kids. I could be, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Man, as you can see, Nick on one side, he's telling you how great it is. Like he has the money to to go and take them to the amusement parks and do all these different things. On the flip end, he sometimes feel guilty about not spending more time as, with his kids. Well, crazy as it may seem, I can relate. I grew up mainly with my mother. I didn't grow up in a two parent household. My dad and my mother never were together. I never remember them being together uh, for my whole life. And I grew up seeing this actually co this co-parenting deal going on. It worked out pretty well. I mean, yeah. I never saw my mother get into my father. Mm -hmm. If she called him, you know, for money, for clothes for me or anything like that. He, he automatically sent it. I went with him periodically. You know, every few months I would go visit him or so often. I even lived with my dad for about three years, too. Mm -hmm. um, and there was no issue. She just asked me, hey, you want to go stay with your dad for, yeah. for you know, a minute? I yeah. did it. And then eventually, close to high school, about seventh grade, I came back and stayed back with my with my mom uh, there until I finished out and became an adult. Mm -hmm. No issues to this, to this point. Even my mom and dad, they still Good. have a great relationship as far as mm -hmm. even with their grandchildren and yep. community. Communicating no issues. Well, this right here was kind of deceptive for me, right? Yeah. Because I thought if I got a young lady pregnant, we could just co-parent. Mm -hmm. Like if it didn't work out, we all good. She like in my right. mind, because Yo. I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was hey, I was bamboozled. I, I was straight like tricked. Like I did not know that that was not how it was going to work out. Mm -hmm. I end up. Probably what I don't know how old I was. Probably about I think it was <clears throat> twenty or so. Finding out that I had a child on the way, mm -hmm. right away, me and this young lady did not get along. I found some things out. I didn't want to be with her. I just wanted to go ahead and take care of my child. I thought I could do this, right? I mean, I seen it. Saw. I saw it my whole life. No issues. Yeah, so I work out. Oh, no, no, no. She let me know. Wrong. That ain't about to happen, homie. You're not gonna see your child. Because you won't be with me. Because you don't want to be with me. I had to come back, try to get joint custody, all those things. Come back, I mean, I was in college at this time. Okay, had to come back, start working, stop, put that on pause, never ever actually went back again. And I had to start working because I had to get my rights. Because I found out as I was going to try to get my daughter from daycare and then whenever me and this young lady was at odds, I would call them and the cops let me know, listen, you have no rights. I said, to what? hold on, what do you mean I got no rights to my child? I had to get in court, and long story short, I've had to deal with back and forth issues as far as that. I got two kids, okay, with two different women before I was married, all right? And I've had periods of time 
where I could not see those children. Mm -hmm. Not because they wanted to. Now, mind you, you may check with the mothers and they may say, oh, no, they didn't want to see their dad. Okay, that doesn't ever make sense as far as that goes. We know that there's more behind that. But I had a period of time with one of my my oldest child where I didn't even see her for almost three years. Mm -hmm. Okay, three years. 12 years old, came back 15. Came back, like... And a lot in a, in a whole different, and we won't even get into that. Like, catch what he's saying. This is the downside of this lifestyle. And we still going through it. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're still. still going to through this day, like the Beyonce Wild to say. We're still <laughs> hey, listen, going through listen, it. Listen, you could, hey, all those, all those temporary feels and thrills, that stuff is temporary. Let me tell it's you. fun for the uh, moment. The consequences are real. And them women right? change. God's grace is amazing. Don't get it wrong. You're looking at someone whose God has had his grace on. Listen, it could be a way worse situation. Definitely. I, yeah. And so I say this to say that, like, you got, you're looking, when you're listening to Nick Cannon, that's a privileged guy talking to you. Again, millions of dollars. Let that be taken away tomorrow. You think the women's they you, you think they're gonna be good? Not at all. Oh no no no. Well oh hey Nick um that 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 twenty thousand that fifty thousand mm -hmm. that didn't I I didn't get that. Yeah. Oh okay yeah so you won't see a uh, little yeah how about that little cannon or whatever mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what you call like you yeah you you probably won't see him because yep. I'm tired of your stuff anyway because yeah. you've been sleeping with old girl yeah. and I was tired of that from day one yeah and I was about to leave. And women, women, that's that's the power is that kid. Yeah. Like I'm a I'm a hurt you by making sure you don't see this yeah. child. That's a lot that's of times how I'm gonna get and back at you. Women, like that's the only thing a lot of times that they'll grab for because yeah. it's the only way they can hurt. Where most time men, we just we just gonna move on and mm -hmm. do our thing. So at the end of the day, I say don't follow Nick. Okay, Nick is gonna well actually follow him because he's showing he's saying regrets. He's yeah. saying. This is not working. He's saying, yeah. I don't want my daughters to be involved. He's saying that. Listen to yeah, that part. Listen to that part. Listen to that part. The other part is ignorance and foolishness. Definitely. Listen to the part where he, those moments where he's saying he's regretting it. This is not working. I don't want my daughters to do. That's the part that's real. Yeah. And that's the part that he won't actually speak about. Yeah. I don't know why they glorify that mess. Because all it ends up is in man, confusion. I could, t I could tell you guys guy after guy that's going through those type of situations we believe in what the lord is saying and what he what he says and he says one man one woman to be together and stay that way so what do you guys think about this situation with yeah. the whole balancing do you know somebody that's trying to do that same thing what stories have you heard about men that had kids by multiple women and they're going through different issues drop that below we want to know what you think hey man thank you so much for making it to the end of this video if you could do us a a huge favor please hit that like button and please subscribe yes and do not forget to hit that notification bell yes we need y'all to be notified every single time we go live and when we drop a video and uh, follow us on all social media platforms at the e and we will see y'all next time on radical love with the e we'll see you